Southern Vanguard Radio. This is DJ John Doe, and to the left of me is my man. Yeah. Lord Tulane Chino in the building. What's up? Must be Sunday night. Must be Sunday night. It is Sunday night. It's a glorious Sunday night, too. Yeah, it is, man. I see the uh, the Ezra Bo- Brooks, but the, the Ezra yeah. Brooks it's in flowing. the uh, in the glass it's tonight. Flowing. I have some. I have a nice beer here. Yes, so do I. Uh, cheers I, to you, my I friend. I have more bourbon than you, though. I don't. Something's yeah, wrong yeah. here. <laughs> something wrong here. Mig's just trying to get wherever he's going fast tonight. Oh yeah, I'm ladies just and no gentlemen, fucking around tonight. We're gonna get right to it. <laughs> Mix came in, fucking wrist just, just. I don't. I can't even say it was beaming. It's like uh, it's like your your arms glowing or something. What? Man, I'm on some Dick Tracy <laughs> shit, man. I'm I'm I done, I done stepped into the motherfucking millennial, man. I'm I might damn homie, I might be a millennial now. What the fuck did I do to myself? I'm taking this shit back. I stepped into I the fucked millennium. up. I, I fucked up, into the man. Millennium. Nah, man. I'm telling you, man. I'm kind of hoping that watch can teleport us somewhere. I don't know where, just anywhere. Well, actually, I hope I- this motherfucker got a laser beam on it because it's a Wells Fargo <laughs> around the corner. We get in that bitch quick as a motherfucker. Nah, man. I, I had I that shit to take us back to the fucking Kentucky Derby. A couple you know what I'm weeks saying? Ago oh shit, that would be dope. Because I've been seeing a lot of mint julep uh, videos and recipes Woo. lately. Them motherfuckers look refreshing. Mm, man. Hell yeah! Oh lord! So yeah, you're, man. You're obviously I'm obviously doing Sunday all right. Night. I'm yeah, doing all right, man. I'm just trying well, to, you know, man. I'm just trying to live a little bit, man. You know, in our situation, you know, as, can as, I live as deep in fatherhood as we are, man? Sometimes you lose sight of life and living. Well, you, that, that you, happens because you know I, I, you I, live I, for everyone else. Well, a, a perfect example of that. You you, you witnessed it actually when when you, when you walked in the in the crib tonight. And I told you that my my seven year old, my my third child, shouts out to Tommy, third out of four, yeah, uh, he has been asking me for a treat. I'm really. sorry, shouts out to Wow, <laughs> Wow, <laughs> that's Foster, right, that's right, that's right, that's my homie, man. <laughs> yeah, he's been asking me for a treat since like seven o'clock. Like it's nine thirty right now. Even still, like when I came, like when I did the final, you know, kiss everybody good night. Yeah. Y'all are putting yourselves to bed. Dad's going to his cave. Shit. Yeah. They're like, uh, d- d- dad, dad, uh, can I have a treat? I said, yeah, the answer is the same as two and a half hours ago. If it's in the pantry and it's edible, <laughs> it's yours. It's yours. But this motherfucking kitchen is closed. <laughs> they want you to make, they want you to make scones right, right? now and shit. They want me to make fucking bread pudding or some shit. Flan or some shit. <laughs> 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 Boy, if I ever catch you making flan, I'll whoop your ass. <laughs> oh, oh man, all, all kidding aside, when, whenever yeah. my kids listen to this, because I, I know some of them do, but they're not supposed to be listening to it. What's but, up, uh, Rose? I, I love y'all. <laughs> I love y'all. I really do from the bottom of my heart. No but doubt. damn, y'all be asking me f- just for stuff a bunch of times in a row. No anyway. doubt. No doubt. Whew. You know, speaking of that, too, you know what also I, I did today? I'm yeah. sore as a motherfucker right now, man. I had to clean the screened-in porch today. I had Damn. to wipe that. You know how pollen and shit is just awful Oh, yeah, that shit get caked up. Yeah, man. man. So, like... see, I had to do that today. Yeah. It's just, man, I'm glad to be here right now. That's yeah, what I'm saying. that's what's up. You pressure wash that shit? What you do? <laughs> no, nah, it's because nah, it's inside. You know what so... I mean? I can't really... Nah, it's 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 too... Nah, and it's it's kind of a small to Tim area. the tool man tailor that nah, shit, man, man, with the... With the uh, seven thousand psi, <laughs> yeah, I'd fucking I'd pressure wash the screens right off that have motherfucker. Marietta Fire Department right. come up and spray your shit. <laughs> nah, man, that's what's up. I'm glad it rained today, man. Finally, man for just cool a little the bit. Fuck off, man. Just a little bit. Just a little bit, just man. Little. Oh man. All right. Anything else we need to cover? No, nah, I think we talked think enough bullshit. We have talked enough bullshit. All right, this so is a podcast, This is right? a podcast, okay. yes. This okay. is a podcast, so let's get down to you business. You can get lost so fast. Yeah, so easy. Yeah. So Especially when this you know, bottle of bourbon is flowing like yeah, it is. Yeah, man, so, we could talk about some awful shit right now. Yes, we mine could. kicked in. I don't know what you're doing over there. My shit done kicked all the way in. <laughs> you already yeah. did two drinks, my brother. Yeah, it's good. Uh, all right. Man, I hope y'all ready. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. All right. So uh, uh, this is the first time you're listening. Uh, this is Southern Vanguard Radio. This is the, you know, uh, 
250th time you're listening. This is also Southern Vanguard Radio. And as, as we always say around here, welcome. Wow. Um, maybe you stumbled upon this little podcast because you're a fan of the two gentlemen that we have on the phone tonight, or yeah. maybe you're a longtime listener. But whatever brought you here, thank you. Um, and, you know, if you haven't yet, please subscribe on one of our platforms. We're fucking everywhere. SoundCloud, MixCloud, Stitcher Radio, Google Podcasts, Spotify Podcasts, YouTube. Did I say Apple Podcasts already? I said that already, I think. If you SoundCloud, didn't, you just MixCloud, did. I'll say it yeah. all again. Yeah. Um, you know, it's everywhere. So just hit subscribe, do a review, do a like, do a yeah. reshare, do a repost. All that shit's important. If you have time to do it, we it appreciate is. it. And we have a bunch of affiliates as well that... Get the message out, right, Meeks? No doubt. ATLHipHop.com, uh, I am Classic Raw Radio.net, Return to the Boom Bap Radio, WRBB, and X Squad Radio, X Squad Affiliates, all those yeah. in um, Atlanta. And then we venture out to the West Coast with Soul Public Radio out west. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh and I, I, I meant to say it earlier, but we drop twice a week. So Tuesdays is a mix show. All new hip hop, Meeks and I just popping shit, drinking beer and bourbon and fucking around on a, on a Sunday night. Yeah. And then on Thursdays, it's an interview session, which is what you're listening to now. So we drop twice a week normally. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, just make sure you're ready on Tuesdays and Thursdays for yeah. whatever may be coming your way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So yeah. without any further ado, we've kept these two gentlemen waiting entirely too long. Far too long. Far too long. Uh, these guys dropped a super dope album at the top of 2019. We played a joint or two, I believe, off that record, and they have uh, a new EP that they're turning. I mean, right on the heels of that record, com- that uh, that LP coming out, just in time for summer. So tonight, ladies and gentlemen, welcome the one and only, the good people, Saint and Emsky. The Whoa! good people. What's up, good people? It's about, it, it's about goddamn time. How you doing, man? <laughs> man. <laughs> Listen, first of all, I want to say one thing. What's up? Uh, six, I want. Dick Tracy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yo, your voice is so dope. It sounds like it should be an interlude on the Chronic album. <laughs> <laughs> that's a first. It's, I, I'm like, I've man, never heard that's, that. it's, it's so dope, man. I love it. I appreciate that. He likes your voice, John. What's going man, on, yeah, that ain't me. That ain't me. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, sense. we chilling, man. What's well, up with y'all? You know what, right. Emsky, we've been saying for years, and numerous people have told this man that that uh, Meeks needs to be on radio for real. It, it, we haven't cracked it yet, but one day we will. Man, it's not for lack of trying, man. Radio voiceover work. I I did a little voiceover work. Right, I like that shit. That was the most money I made in an hour ever. <laughs> So I would love see, to see, do. There you go. That, that, man, that tells you it's a blessing right there, bro. Man, real talk. I made twelve hundred dollars in one hour. God, dog, doing, really? Doing some shit for Turner Broadcasting. See, I felt I felt bad when I walked up out of that motherfucker. I was like, damn, this is a lot of money. Yeah, you thought it was a setup. You thought they were gonna tackle man, your ass outside. When set up my ass. I put that shit in my back pocket. <laughs> Quick that a motherfucker. I was like, let me get out of here, man, before they realize how they got got. <laughs> but nah, good to talk to y'all tonight, fellas. We appreciate y'all being yes. with us tonight, man. This we shit appreciate is dope. y'all having us on. Yeah, right? man. Yeah, yeah. Like homie said, we 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 played some joints and and y'all get down like we get down, so it's you know mutual respect all the way around. Thank you. We all yeah. got to find each other around here, brother. <laughs> no <laughs> doubt. We all got to find each other. No doubt. I swear, man. It's like every other person you talk to is like talking to the Walking Dead of radio. It's just insane. <laughs> it's crunch time for real around here. Seriously. But what's yeah. your, uh, what's what's new, man? Let's talk about this new uh, this new project. And um, yeah, sure. You know, yeah, I see. Y'all got some dates coming up in the UK and whatnot. Let's talk about everything new. Uh, What's yes. Your... Oh no. So, oh, go ahead, go ahead. oh yeah. I'll say yeah. We got you know the, the new EP dropped there called the Summer EP on the fourteenth. Um, even though we we just dropped this album back in January, and um, I wanted to bring something uh for the summer. This time I came up with this idea. I was, you know, I was working on some beats, this and that, and like on some smooth shit. So I was like, let's, you know, let's do something. Let's make sure we put this out for the summertime. This is the type of stuff that you don't want to be playing during this, this season. You know, it, it's definitely got that summer vibe. So we kind of did a quick turnaround. And um, we're working with uh, Blow System is the, is the label. And uh, they're putting out the CD for Good For Nothing, which the, the album came out in January. And on the CD, you will additionally get the summer EP. So you get both wow. albums on one CD. Oh, okay. Oh, that's dope. Nice. 
So, yeah. mm-hmm. so, so had you guys been planning on doing this EP, uh, you know, making such a quick turn, or did you just, you know, put out the record at the beginning of the year and decide you wanted to follow it up quick? How how did it come together? You know, well, I'll say real quick. Go yeah. ahead, go ahead. Now, so I'm going to say, all right, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, man, let that man get a word in edge. Nah, no, I'm kidding, man. <laughs> I'm going to talk for now and shut up the rest of the night. Uh, so we, uh, put out, we put out Good For Nothing on final and uh, for download. And we had a lot of feedback from people like, yo, can we get the CD when the CD drop in? And we're like, I didn't realize people were still buying CDs like that. That's uh, crazy, so, yeah. Uh, this, this people reached out to us. Uh, it's below system and they uh, mentioned they're like yo you know we'd be interested in putting out the CD and I'm like okay we you know when we want to do that you know, they were talking about maybe like around June so now we're talking like six months after the, the initial album you know dropped so I didn't want to just put out we just didn't want to put out an album on CD that's now kind of you know six months old I wanted to put something new on there as well uh, so when you get the CD you're going to get some extra tracks on there and then at the same time, if you already got good for nothing and you download it, it's going to be a separate EP called the Summer EP. So I think gotcha. that's basically why we're doing it. And y'all okay. doing physicals for this too? Or is it, uh, is it just going to be digital? Yeah, so say the, the, the Summer EP itself, it's six tracks. That's just going to be digital. And then it's going to be on the CD with good for nothing. Okay. And then, um, you know, probably, you know, talk maybe in the future about a vinyl that's situation what's up. too. That's what's up. Gotcha. Now, now, saying you're from you're from Long Island, right? Right. Yeah. <clears throat> so you got some Long Island folks here on the on the debut single, right? Jigs and uh, yeah, yeah. So let's talk yeah. about the single a little bit. Yeah. So the single is a summer night of the circle. Uh, we got Monopoly family with John Jigs, Mouse, and Rockwells, mm-hmm. um, and we all we're all connected yeah, through Long Island through our man Digital, who's his manager, who I've known from a long, long time. Um, gotcha. and we've been, you know, all of us been kind of connected together. We did the album release party back in January, had Monopoly family come out and do it there. And then, um, it's like, you know, we got to make sure we do a joint together. So this is the, this, this is the posse cut right here. So, so yeah, we had Jigs and Concept on a uh, month or so ago. Yeah. Um, okay. yeah, for their last record. So, um, g- good guys so, right there. Mm-hmm. So Definitely. what, what other features you guys have on the EP then? Can you talk about those? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we got Tash from Alcoholics, uh, Terminology, Ooh. Ooh. Afro, Ooh. Uh, Horror City, and Jigmast, uh, Criminal from the Jigmasters. Oh, shit. Damn, y'all fuck around, but I should have known that because the... Well, yeah, the EP, yeah, yeah the LP the at the LP, top of the year was chocolate. Red Alert, shit. Large Pro, Lil Fame, Sadat X, mm-hmm. like, what's the deal? Like, <laughs> y'all feature, y'all <laughs> you know, feature you know, game is deal, crazy. Yeah. The deal is this: we are we are both forever students of the game. Okay. When you are a forever, when you are a forever student of the game, it's the game or something, you never think that your work is done. You just keep working, and we just we just work on music that we like to do. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it just so happens that since I've been in the game for a minute, and I know a lot of people, as does Saint, you know, we just kind of put these connections to to work, you know, for us on these albums, and it's it's great because. Our sound is hip hop soul, so it's like you know it, it definitely's got that knock. But we lean towards like live instruments, um, you know. There's definitely some instrument playing and stuff on on the record, and it gives it a different feel. Uh, this one notable DJ recently that told us that he's like, "Yo, thanks for making you know joints that are over a certain BPM." I can't remember what he said, mm, but right. he was like, "Because you guys are making joints that are a little bit faster than all the like the you know the eighty five to the you know, 80, 80 to 85 BPM. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Speed. So, yeah. I don't know. We just, we just, we just, we just get busy how we get busy. You know, but I'm just happy that people are enjoying it. Nah, it's funny you mentioned that because we was kind of talking shit last, last episode about how uh, <laughs> Premier had Conway and, and Westside rhyming over some, what was it, 92 yeah, beats? 90, 90 beats. 90 beats, beats per, per minute. minute. Yeah, yeah, and that's, that's, that's so not them, you know, at the same time, <laughs> but it's like, you're not going to turn down a primo production, you know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, no, I, I hear, yeah. yeah, I hear what you're saying about that. Now, M. Ski, let me ask you this. Does, does the the type of features that you guys have does that come from your radio background? Because I see um, weekly show on Bushwick Radio, Pen Joints, 
Fridays, 5 mm-hmm. to 6 p.m. Uh, Eastern. Um, also mm-hmm. a weekly show on Radio uh, Radio Free Brooklyn, Control Substance, uh, every Wednesday mm-hmm. from 5 to 6 p.m. Was on the Underground Railroad show. Um, mm-hmm. Is is like, do you know these people from 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 your radio days, uh, or is it uh, just just being in the New York area and and got these connections? What what is it? I mean, growing up in the New York area, uh, you know, you especially since the nineties. So I'll just mm-hmm. take it back that far. Like the nineties was just so fruitful with a lot of parties, a lot of places to go. Yeah, you know, everybody the hip hop, like if you, if you went to these spots, you kind of saw the same people. Right. And, you know, obviously back then, a lot of these, a lot of these people were younger, but you know, you, you develop relationships like me and I know red really well, red alert mm-hmm. because I used to date the Wendy Williams back in like 92. So when I was up at the station, seeing her, I oh, like that. Ho, red. ho, 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 really- ho, beautiful story you're telling right now, but don't please no, don't no, gloss no, on no, that. No, no, <laughs> wait, wait a minute. I, I know we're talking about. Let's stay on point. Okay. Stay on no, point. I mean, we'll I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you I'm finish. Saying, but on some Kanye shit, I'm gonna let you finish. But <laughs> but we cannot. <laughs> you just fucked me up just now. Uh, but go ahead so and finish. Anyway, yeah, yeah. I'll I'll tell you about that later. But <laughs> yeah, so I met Red. I met I met Red. Um, developed a relationship with him. Um, you know, I broke up with Wendy, whatever. Like seven years later, I hadn't seen Red. This is a crazy story. So I'm sitting on a um, 110th Street, you know, smoking an L by myself on a Sunday. Nobody's around. I see somebody coming down the street. I'm like, you don't look like Red Alert. But of course, you know, you little buzz. I'm like, I don't know. I know he's tripping. <laughs> Walks up, it's Red. I'm like, yo, what's up, Red? He's like, M Ski, what's up? Now, he hadn't seen me for seven years. You know how many people that man knows? Yeah. Yeah. He's, and he remembered my name. Dope. And that always resonated with me. And and even today, like, you know, we got the connection because actually Saint used to live in Harlem and would see Red Alert in the grocery store. Am I right, Saint? Right. Yeah. Right. That's so, crazy. Yeah. So that's how we got the feature because Saint actually met him and was like, yo, can you do a, a intro intro for our album? And he was like, yeah, cool, cool. And then it went down. Wow. <laughs> you Damn, know what that's, that's fucking awesome, And then, and then wait, wait, on the other side of that, after we did the drop session, this is a backstory, um, Red had to go downtown to Hot 97. So Saint was like, yo, I'll drive you. So we got Red Alert in the back seat, and he just starts talking. And he's talking about all these legendary moments that you're just like, what? I got Red Alert in the back seat telling stories Son. about being in the Latin <laughs> Quarter. And this oh, that. He, he, that he just, we just had a history right right there. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And we know to do. Yeah. And he's cool. So that right there is just a blessing. It was it was great to have on the album. But all the Saint, Saint actually took care of a lot of get, getting a lot of the guests for the album. Okay. But we know these people through our connections over the years of just being in radio, being around the business. Saint worked for a, a legendary label called Seven Heads, yeah, which was yeah. headed by Wes Jackson, who now does the, the Brooklyn Hip Hop Festival. Yeah. So you know, through our connections, we we have all these these comrades in the game, and you know, just went out and got them. That's dope. Yeah, kind of funny stories as far as this EP. I don't, you familiar with Richard Masters? Yes, yeah, very much absolutely. so. It was Spinner and Criminal, right? So um, I've always been a fan. Uh, Spinner's one of my favorite producers. And um, I got to connect through, uh, through somebody else, to Criminal. And I hit him up. I was like, you know, I'd like to get you on a track. So, yeah, no doubt. This is two, two years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, and we're kind of going back and forth. And he's like, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm writing some this and that. And, you know, things, things fall off. And I'm out chasing people around. And like, I this is gonna happen. Um, and then just like a few months ago, this is like two years later, he's like, eh, I'm gonna do that track. I'm like, that track that came out on the album already like four months ago. <laughs> like, came out there, like two years later. And uh, <laughs> I was like, well, we're already up to the next project, but I'd love to get you on that, <laughs> you know? And, mm. uh, and, and that's how he's on this. That's dope. And mm-hmm. this is this is Spinner you're talking about, right? Yeah, I wonder if yeah, um, yeah. I wonder how much that little uh, that little that little obstacle he ran into. What was that last year when his uh, what was his uh, appendix was ruptured? Kid. What was that? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, I wonder. Yeah, I wonder, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I wonder how much that played in there. Not 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 to say that it did, but it kind of sounds like around the time, or uh, maybe after after that. I don't know. No, nah, I don't know. I, I mean, this is. I mean, this is criminal uh, that 
that we had on the track, you know, and Spinners, you know, is also in Jig Masters. And I think that maybe, I remember at the time, they were kind of working on some stuff and maybe just, uh, you know. Yeah. Didn't, so it was just a time thing. Allow. It's, I it's got you. Funny. Yeah. You know, you talk with somebody, you try to get, you talk about getting them on the track and it kind of, it doesn't pan out and fizzles. It just doesn't happen. It just usually doesn't like two years later pop up again. Like, all right. <laughs> Let's do this. Right. No doubt. You know? so, and, and, quick and question. The he spit is fire. So we won. <laughs> <laughs> Plain and simple. Hey, does uh does Red Alert still live in Atlanta? Red Alert lives in Harlem. He's he's back in well, Harlem. I think, okay. I think he might be back. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, you know, I'm not sure. Red travels a lot, but I know he was based in Atlanta for a long time. Yeah. I'm not sure if he's like actually living here. Then again, reckon go anywhere he wants. I guess he got two two three, four different states or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah he has different houses. Like, as far as I know, this is yeah. he's yeah. still living in Harlem. Yeah, so, I know yeah. he was uh I know he was doing radio here with Chubb Rock and um uh, for mm-hmm. for a good yeah. little while, but I you know, he probably back and forth, ain't no telling. Right. Yeah. Mm. Hey, saying so, saying you're the you're the uh, I guess you're the uh, one doing a lot of the. You were talking about live in- instrumentation, Emski. Uh, you you're, you can play a lot of instruments, right? Saying did I see that in, a, in an interview or see that somewhere? Yeah, I mean, I grew up playing drums. Uh, I play guitar. I play some keys. Um, you know, my, my formula is basically is definitely sample heavy, um, and basically. Everything, everything sampled is, is kind of the, the foundation of the track, and then I play things on top of it. Gotcha. So, gotcha. and then do you pull the sample out at that point, or is somewhere is somewhere yeah. lurking in the back? Yeah, no, it's all, yeah, it's always in there. As long as I mean, if you listen, I mean, Ski's always said this over the years. Like, to listen to a track like five years later and hear some sound in there that you didn't even know it's the first time around. There's a lot going on. Okay. <laughs> a lot of track. Yeah, okay. Just, what I try to do is. I try to make the track good enough where you could even listen to it as an instrumental. And then when you're going to put a ski line on top of it, it's just going to take it to a whole other level to make it that much better. Gotcha. gotcha. Okay. Now, oh. now, you guys had a gap from the last album to um, uh, to the one at the top of the year, right? It's been a number yeah. of years. Yeah. Well, what's the story behind yeah. that? Life happens. Life. life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, yeah. um, you know, you're talking to some lifers the, right here, so we understand. <laughs> <laughs> this group, this group that best exemplified that best, I think, first actually was De La Soul. They showed it mm. was like, you know, I think there was a picture of them like washing laundry somewhere. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like they're everyday Long Island kids, no doubt. But that had never really been seen before. You know what I'm saying? So I think if you want to look at anything, that's how you would look at us. Like, you know, I'm a dad. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not here, not, I'm not repping like, you know, I do hip hop 24 seven cause I don't, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's okay. like, it's my life. But at the same time, you know, I have, I have a life and real life happens. There's things, ups and downs. And sometimes like your create, your creative side, it, you know, every writer will tell you, you get writer's block because you got other stuff going on. And sometimes you, you can't go in the studio when you want, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, you know, Saints got a son. Um, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's complicated. And you, a lot of, a lot of people don't really understand that side of hip hop. You know what I'm saying? But no doubt. that's basically, yeah, that's basically who we are. Well, you guys so, sure had a hell of a return. Yeah, man. Well, hey, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I felt like, I, you know, I don't, I don't sound bitter or anything, but I feel like we were getting the recognition that maybe we were deserving. And then I was like, well, we're going to come back and do it. You know, we're gonna do it ten times. You know what we were doing before, right? right. And, and we're gonna make sure that we, we get we get you know heard from the out, outside of our, our circle that that we already have. You know, gotcha. Nice. How'd you guys get together? Uh, I was yeah. I was, <laughs> I was working at I was working at Seven Heads Record Label, um, two thousand three, two thousand four. Uh, put out so long with them. We did some uh, did some production for some of the artists on there. And uh, I had just left the label, and I was working on a solo project. And half of it was going to be instrumental, half of it I was going to have some MCs on it. And uh, I was a big fan of Underground Railroad, which is where MC was DJing on at the time. Yeah. And I, re- I reached out to him to do some cuts on the track. And so he came through. I was uh, living on the time, and 
he came through, put some punts down on his track, and he's like, you know, I'm too. I was like, oh, I didn't realize that. And he was kind of on a little hiatus, so I didn't know. And uh, he just, you know, broke out the book, put a verse down on that same track, which uh, is called These Times, which is on the first album. And, and then I had another track, and then he spit on that. Uh, that track's called Problems. And then just from there, to scrap the whole solo thing. I'm like, nah, we, nah, we're going to do something together. <laughs> you know? Right. And uh, I mean, the, the kind of things is always there right from day one. And then we just, you know, rest is history. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. So, um, so saying you usually handle most of the production, or how does that go down? Yeah, all the production. Yeah. Gotcha. All yeah, the I, I kind of, like I said, like I, I dynamic, I kind of compare it to like a P Rock and Seal Smooth. Uh, you know, where I do the production, kind of a part time MC, and then, you know, MC's like the main MC. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you guys kind of overlap MC duties, but your your, your other, I guess, skill sets are, I mean, obviously, MC, you're a DJ and, and saying you're producing. So may, maybe a little overlap there, but you guys kind of have your, <clears throat> I guess, have your kind of specific duties and then, and then overlap when it comes to, comes to the rhymes. Yeah, and we, we both we both have you know input on to to each sad stuff. You know, he he has ideas for beats. You know, come to me. You know, there's been times in the past where like I got this sample, I want you to flip it, and I do that, or I come up with an idea where I wasn't the right to certain subject. So, and it's just always you know we just the chemistry is always you know we're always on the same page and everything. So, oh, gotcha. A gotcha. hey, quick question: we we talk a lot about uh you know lost parts of the art form, whether it be. Uh, an interview like we're doing right now or the fact that nobody does radio edits anymore or shit like that. Whose idea was it to do, um, to release the acapellas of the whole album, um, speaking in terms of good for nothing? And why did you do that? (laughs) I didn't see somebody ask that. Uh, We had somebody who wanted to remix the whole album. Okay. Um, he, and he had done a couple of remixes in the past of some of our acapella stuff he did how it represent. Uh, and I just, I kind of just came up with this idea. I'm like, why don't we just give it out to the public? And then, you know, a lot of producers out there that always, you know, looking for, uh, for people to rhyme in their stuff, maybe, you know, help, help them get some shine. And, um, and at the same time, you know, maybe give some of our stuff a little bit of a different sound since I produce everything. Yeah. Uh, I was, you know, just kind of interested to see what other people would come up with. You know, okay. just, how they can flip the track and maybe, you know, just flip the vibe, the feeling of it. Okay. Uh, and, you know, it's just kind of giving back, you know, to people too. You know, I know, I feel right. we are, I feel like, a, you know, a hip hop head group. And I'm sure like a lot of people that listen to our stuff, our producers and MCs, as well as fans. And, you know, just wanted to kind of give back to them. You know, we have a lot of guests on there, so, you know, help them out. Maybe they do a remix, you know, now now you went and did a remix and now it has Lil Fame from MOP or, you know, Lost Pro or Seven yeah. Bells, whoever. And we can kind of say that. And, you know, that, that helps them too. Exactly. Right. That's dope. Yeah, it drives That's me crazy shit. these days, man, because yeah. I, you know, uh, I, it, it drives me nuts. You can't get a, a single in a proper you know, dirty, mm-hmm. clean, yeah. instrumental, yeah. and right. sometimes yeah. acapella format yeah. now. I, d- yeah. I mean, I, I love it when I, you know, see somebody, you know, include all versions of that in a single. Yeah, like much I said, less. Lost, lost part of the yeah. art form, man. Absolutely. You know, cats still need that shit out here, for yeah. real. Yeah, yeah. Well, well that, that disappeared when the, when the record labels disappeared. When the record labels dried up, you know, everybody got bought out, then the internet took over. That was it. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and, and, and you, you don't know, have to do that for the crazy. internet. You know what? But I think I think people are just lazy now. It's just like, mm-hmm. yo, I just want to need the joint. Bam. You just send. I mean, well, even if you look from a, from a commercial level, because obviously nobody, half of motherfuckers don't give a fuck about only underground hip hop or underground, independent hip hop. Right. But then when you look at the commercial level, it's like, it's just mass produced music. So you don't even need to fucking acapella. Because they're coming out with so much garbage, why would you want the acapella of this point <laughs> yeah, where you got time. Yeah. garbage tracks coming right behind it? You don't, <laughs> they, don't, they don't need to do that. But back in the day, you had so many styles of hip-hop. You had Public Enemy, you had Kwame, you had fucking De La Soul, you had N.W.A., and all of them had different flavors. And when they released something, you hoped that it had the acapella because they brought 
if they each brought a different energy. And acapellas have different energy. Like, it kills me when people use acapellas these days and, and just throw, like, oh, this is 83 BPMs. And right. this is 80. If the beat and the, and the lyrics don't go together, that doesn't necessarily mean it's supposed to be. It's supposed to blend together. Right. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, oh, very, absolutely. Yes, very much so. And it's yeah, like, yeah. it's like, you know, I did a mashup. You didn't do shit. You just put two <laughs> fucking BPMs together and that's it. You that didn't have nothing to do with each other. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> nothing. Absolutely nothing. But right. then, you know, like back in the day, you would take the acapella from a KRS joint and hear an instrumental that you'd never heard before. Bam. You take it home. That was your instant remix. Yeah. And if you were crafty enough to, you know, redo one yourself at the crib, that was even a, a greater plus, but you can't even do that with half of the tracks now. And why would you want to? It's all garbage music. Got a point. Great point. Yeah, Emsky, you, you mentioned the glut of music out right now. I mean, you know, we, we've we've been doing this podcast here for uh, almost five years. Or this is, we're in our fifth year, right, Meeks? Yeah, fifth almost year. Almost six. And um, you know, I did. I did college radio in the uh, you know mid nineties through early two thousands. And, um, you know, we, we still get, uh, you know, that same glut, you know, on the, you know, underground or independent side of things, man. I, so, I mean, you're involved in, you know, new regular shows. H- how do you weed through all the new shit that's out these days, man? Because there's, uh, there's so much I can't even keep up at this point. Hmm. Listen, the thing is, um, I don't know. I, 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 it's a number of things. I dedicate myself to music that nobody gives a fuck about. <laughs> Word. So, so do you we. know, I, that calls, yeah. I guess I would, I would be a loner in that department, but I get a lot of music from different outlets and I'll sit there and actually go through folders. I'll sit down, of course, hit the pen, take a little drink, bam, sit down, and I'm going through all these this music that I'm sent by file, like garbage, garbage, I'm keeping this, garbage, <laughs> garbage. I mean, you know, the other thing is, it, it, the same thing happens with, with, with records, like, people don't, shift the bad stuff and the good stuff so you just wind up with a bunch of records in your house and before you know it if you collect mad records like I used to mm. oh, yeah. um, you know it gets overwhelming and it's, it's a lot of stuff so the same thing can happen when you just collect because I think I've, I've seen these groups where you just grab like 800 files and people just mm. grab stuff and throw it on the computer you're yeah. using up so much space with probably half of that stuff that's garbage yeah. so you have to put, a, put aside the time to go through your music and really select what's good. That's why I really believe, and obviously everybody says that stuff is good, but my pen joint show that you mentioned before, I think it's, it's just one of the hottest stuff, hottest shows out because I take time to study music and see, look, this is good. This is good. This is quality. And you can tell through the kind of stuff that I play and the way that I actually put it together because I balance it. I mean, there's a lot of grimy stuff out there. Like I said, you know, DJs were telling me, um, about the, the the good people out of my house was faster than the normal stuff. But when I do play the grimy stuff, I mix it with the stuff that's like, oh shit, this is a higher BPM and it's 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 actually saying something. Rather than just playing a whole bunch of gully shit and it's like, okay, right. I just listened to an hour of people moving bags and you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no doubt. Yes, absolutely. No yeah. doubt. Hey, what's so your what's you your balance? what's your drink of choice, man? We we bourbon drinkers <laughs> over here. What you what you drinking on? Oh man, you know I was I, I'm a Guinness man. I just say I'm a Guinness man. I'm a stout man. I like stout. I, the, got, uh, I don't go hard liquor. I I, I do Guinness. Guinness, okay. is, Guinness is my my drink of choice. Man. The uh, uh, the, got, uh the, 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 the Maker's Mark is mine. Okay, Maker's Mark. Mark. That's what's up. Ninety proof. I fuck with it. Um, <laughs> that, that, that Guinness is that Guinness draft or is that the Guinness original blend? That's draft, bro. And oh it's yeah, be yeah. Poured correctly yeah 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 okay <laughs> my man my man can, 100 grand i fuck black. with you can, i fuck i fuck can, with both of y'all i fuck with both of y'all on, on that shit yeah. I, I, one alcoholic <laughs> to another <laughs> no doubt hey man talk about these uh upcoming dates in the uk man what 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 is looking like y'all y'all prepared to do war over there what's happening that is uh, not the case. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We don't. We, we don't got anything. We don't there. even understand that, man. What I don't you know mean? We got that info from. We don't got anything set up in oh, UK. It's, right it's on. It's on Bandcamp. <laughs> unless, unless we do, we don't know. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's on your Bandcamp page. <clears throat> I know that. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> do. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? Maybe that's that's a, that's a sign that some things are coming. Because look, okay. behind Good for Nothing and this new EP, yeah, 
Yo, um, we need to get some dates. Okay. Um, anything, can happen. Yeah. It's, anything can happen. Anything can happen. Let's, right let's put it out there in the ethers, man. It's it's coming your way. I see I, I see passport Your stamps and yeah, I see passport <laughs> stamps and round trip tickets paid by others than you for <laughs> London UK <laughs> dates. We going we going to work on we we making that happen right now. It's it's happening. Yeah, it's been it's been like what 10 years since we did the UK, right? Okay. Yeah. That's what's up. Mm. Is it, yeah, it's been like 10 years now, decades. It's been, it's been a bit too long. Was that uh yeah. was that a good experience for you guys or oh man Look, have you ever been overseas never that's why i'm asking i i i, 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 I hear about people Please. like like we got close homies that went over there i think jay si and i was just over there not too long yeah. ago uh mm-hmm. my sister star yeah. was over there uh i think last month um so well, yeah we had nothing but good your, things what was your experience to your listening audience i'll just say this anybody who is on your block and you have a chance to get off, go. Get off your block and just go somewhere. Go mm-hmm. to another country. When you touch down in another country, it's so surreal because you obviously you're flying in a plane. You look out the window, you're seeing bodies of water. It's all an experience. Mm-hmm. So then you touch down in another country, they're all in another language or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, and then you, you're, you're meeting people that are on another part of the earth that you've never been to before. And then when it becomes a, a, a positive experience, like especially if you have a talent, and they're bringing you over for that talent. You're going to see that they 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 gravitate towards you because of the energy you you bring through your music. No doubt. And I'm, I'm I'm talking about on the underground scene. I mean, obviously this happens on the commercial level, but on the underground scene, you find these pockets of of, of promoters and people that really dig your music. The feedback is incredible, and we did the longest running club in the UK. It's called the Maristo Disco. In 2012, when our last album dropped, and mm-hmm. they, I, I know people down there, and they invited us to come down here to do this. Mm-hmm. And when I tell you, like every single person in that club, it was it was packed to the rafters. They were celebrating 45 years of being open. Oh wow! And people Damn. were so passionate, so passionate about music. I swear to God, and 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 they can attest to this. That felt like the club levitated because mm. they were so excited. That's crazy about what seeing. And then you, and of course, as a performer, you pick up off of that energy. And then when you get off stage, because, and, you know, there's, there's dimensions to being the good people, because it's not just a group name. Like, we actually are good brothers who, you know, you know, do what we, what we have to do for our families. We're good people to people that are kind of in our surrounding circles. Mm-hmm. But when you come off stage and, 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 and talk to people like they're regular people, and not just like, yo, we got to go to the green room, smoke some L's, we'll be out later. You know, it's like I don't feel like talking to nobody. Let's go somewhere else. When you when you when you interact with people in another country that have never seen you before, mm-hmm. and you make lifelong friends from that association, no doubt. So I answer your question by saying, when you go over there and and you meet people and you link up on a common bond, which is hip hop, it's I mean the hip hop family worldwide is incredible. But when, when you meet your a like across the sea. And there's different nationalities, different languages, and they gravitate. You make that connection. There's nothing like it. And then when you come back, it's almost like a depression. Mm. Oh, I've heard because that. Because you're on, you're, yeah, you're on so you're coming back to the like, bullshit. Yo, this, yeah, right. <laughs> you gotta want to be. And then all of a sudden you get back, and it's like, yo, you gotta go to work. You gotta <laughs> oh, take shit. care of your son. You, gotta, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. It, so when, when, you know what? I, that was just, not, not just that. It kind of spoils you over there because of the energy. And then you come back here to New York and then you got, you know, the motherfuckers are just, they're, they're too cool to act like they, they give a shit when you right. perform and they're kind of standing there look, looking at you like <laughs> zombies and shit. Yeah. Yeah. God damn it. I'm <laughs> back to this shit. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I was going to ask you guys, you guys have been making the rounds show-wise in, in New York or in the Tri-State area, you know, after the, you know, with, with, with the record out at the top of the year or? How are things looking there? Yeah. 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 We, we did a lot of radio. Yeah. We did a lot of radio. We've been doing the shows out here. Um, and we kind of, we haven't been doing shows in a while, been up until recently. And, uh, yeah, the crowds are still similar. They're still, you know. Yeah. I saw you guys on Rappers Out of Control, maybe. <laughs> did, I, did, I, did I see you guys on Eclipse and Riz's show, maybe, what, two or three months ago? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. No doubt. Or, hey, Emsky, I wanted to ask you what you thought about um, 
the shit at WBAI with with Jay and and him leaving the show and kind of the Underground Railroad more or less going away? Um, I mean, that was I can't even remember what the political reason was. I think it had something to do with the the, the person that came in to take over as program director for the station had a yeah. very uh, opposite political stance from everybody else on the station. Mm. And Jay uh, decided to end his, his tenure at BAI uh, over that decision. And then other shows, other reputable shows, such as G.E. Hopper's Liquid Sound Lounge and other shows, they followed him right out the door. So I can't remember specifically what what political issue it was, but that's basically what ended um, Jay's um, tenure as the longest running, uh, you know, uh, hip hop show in the world, pretty much, because it started in '91 and it survived until, you know, most recently. Yeah, and you know, I give him props for doing that. I mean, he, you know, he could have just been like, "I got a good thing here. I've been here a long time. You know, I might just kind of just look past this." But he, he stuck to his beliefs and everything, yeah. and, and bounced, and you know, I give respect to that. Yeah, yeah. salute to him. And for that. if you and if you've never seen it, check out. Um, I think. It, Illdoctrine.com, I L L D O C T R I N E, Illdoctrine.com. He does a video blog. He started it back in like the early 2000s, but it's very informative. He's got a lot of stuff up there that, that's, uh, that's, that's pretty good content. Word. Nice. So, so what's, uh, what's up for you guys after this EP drops, man? Like, you guys have got a lot of momentum going on right now. Where do you see this thing going? Yeah. Just more music or? Yeah, we, we just finished the album with the Club of Cup uh, out of Finland. Um, and it's, it's their production with us rhyming on it. And that's going to drop and shoot as well. I'm sorry, who is on, this? Think, with who? The, 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 name, the name of the group is called Cut Beatles they're out of Finland. They're, they're a DJ producer group. Oh, and, wait. Well, we just uh, got a was, joint from them. Uh, let's see here. I, I just got a service with a joint from those guys. Um, oh, oh, it might be, uh, might be cool. I think it just got released. It might be us. Yeah, oh, we, we did. We did something called Bad News with them. I don't know if that's the same. Yeah. Maybe give you about that. We had that. That's that's us too. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. No, nah, no problem. <laughs> so, so that drops and, in June. Uh, you were saying that drops in June. Yeah, that uh, I forget the exact date. But yeah, that, that's dropping in June as well. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Nice. And uh, we. We're on the um, new management. We got uh, Big Rob as our manager now. Big Rob management, and um, you know he's he's working on some things for us and setting some things up. And we're just gonna for a shout to him. Okay. Yeah, shout right. out to Big Rob. And right. We're just gonna kind of move forward and uh, see where it takes us. And, you know, I'm just you know, I like I to focus one thing at a time. You know, I want to get this EP out, push it, see what happens there, and then we'll move on to the next thing. Gotcha. So Anybody that's smart. not familiar with us. Um, you know, hop on your computer and just go to uh, thegoodpeople.bandcamp.com or you can hit us up on our uh, Facebook page, The Good People NY. Um, my Instagram is at DJ E M S K E E and Saints is at Saint the Good People. Saint Good People. Saint Good People. Mm-hmm. It's on Instagram. Oh. All right, beautiful. Yeah, oh. here it is. Uh, Cut Beatles Bad News. Is that you guys? Or yeah. No? yeah. Yep. So y'all are on that joint? Yep. Yeah, yeah, we we call we're calling the group Cut People. That's Cut Beatles and Good People <laughs> put together. Cut people. Uh, okay. Oh dope. shit! <laughs> All right, dope. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's dope. All right, word. Now, Emski, I know you thought you got away with one, but I ain't forget shit. So here we go. Uh, so here we go. Yeah, first, on, first uh, and foremost, I'm just. For, uh, nah, you ain't lost really? shit. Uh, I got you. Know? I got you wide Why? open. Check this know? out. <laughs> so look, I'm disappointed to hear that you broke up. With her, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Next question. No, you know what? Listen, listen. Let me tell you. Um, it was an experience. Um, you know, Wendy is Wendy, man. That's that's who she is. No like, doubt. It, you know, a lot of people. Oh, you know, no. She is who she is. She's always had a big mouth. She's mm. always been opinionated. Mm. Um, she looked better back then. Mm. Well, okay. I don't, I don't have all, I don't have that. any more questions okay. then because you you laying it down. Wendy. I was old one. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I can't front on you on that because I I like uh I like I like BBWs and she was uh she definitely <laughs> weighed more back then. Uh, I definitely would have hollered at her back then, but now yeah. um, she yeah. looks like a fucking blow pop. So um, 
Uh, yeah, I'm I'm good on that. Thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you, thank you. No, but yeah, that was that was back. In, it was back in '92, man. This is you know. This is yeah, back that was in the, that was the, the heyday. Day. Yeah, that was the heyday. Yeah, yeah. Let's keep it. I'm 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 gonna speak for M real quick. A little fun fact, a yeah, piece of history. Yeah, yeah, know one on the on program, the voice. Wendy, Wendy. Oh man, wow, that's right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, that, who lives in the remember that? Did y'all remember that? That's that Sam Ski. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, word. <laughs> Damn. You, honestly, do you remember that? I, you know what? I, I, um, I'm going to be honest you with you. Yo, nah, we was, shit, yeah, that's what I was about to say. We, I've been, I've been in Atlanta since 89. So I, I used to, I used to go up to New okay, York a okay. little bit more, but when I went up to New York, it was for, for beating the street and, and hitting, you know, hitting the labels up and shit like that. So I wasn't really into radio yeah. back then. So no, nah, I don't know that. But actually, no, but everybody, I, I never saw, that, <laughs> yeah, I never really saw, up. actually saw Wendy Williams until she was on one episode of the Martin show. Um, oh, right. right yeah, right, they was right, doing right. some radio see, convention man. in Detroit, and she was on there, and that shit was kind of yeah. kind of crazy. And I was looking at, oh, she kind of thick. I like that. Um, but, you know, <laughs> that was, again, we talking about 100 years ago. So I, I get it. Yeah. So, so yeah. I mean, but yeah. but she got a whole lot more money right now. So ain't no, like, ain't no backtracking in, in place. <laughs> Brother, listen. <laughs> More money, more problems. So I got another no problem. Like, no <laughs> doubt. No doubt. Shouts out to the sober house. I, love, I will anyway. take. I will take a zero on that. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah, you're a smart man yeah. for that. I fuck with you. Yes, I am. Yeah. Yes, I am. I That's, got better things to so do. So there it time. is. You know, I wish, I wish, I know she's going through some stuff right now. So I wish no her doubt. The best. we wish um, her the best you know. for real. Because I, I have, I have no issues with a big mouth and all. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she's, she's found her. <laughs> No, I'm serious. She's found her niche. You know what I'm saying? You can't front on that. And, yeah. And, no, you and, can't. No. Nah, she, she, I, I still think even I, even through all her problems, um, she's a hell of a businesswoman. You know I saying? never thought in a million years that I would ever see Wendy Williams on daytime television. No, nah, dude, she I been, never thought and, that. And and it's just a continuation of the game. Like she she did all those years in radio, and now she's she's top yeah. of the TV food chain. You can't front on that. Sure. Right? Can't so find that shit. You can't. Word. All right, Saint Emsky, uh, we're the gonna good wrap, people, man. We, we, we really and they are some good people. They are some good people. All so right. we always like to let, uh, we always like to have people just, you know, if they if they need to speak their mind, uh, you know, last parting war- words. Yeah. You need to get some shit off the your chest. The floor is yours, man. The, the floor is yours, and uh, you know, we'll wrap it up like that. Um, uh, I'll just start by saying. The elements that I think should be put in place, stop hating, get fresh and go home. Mm. You use up a lot of energy hating on people because once you're at home hating, look at what they picture on Instagram, they doing something else. You wasting energy thinking about them. Mm -hmm. Do you. Go get your own shit. All right? That's number one. Number two, hang around people that push you to be better. If you hang around people that complain all the time, if you hang around people that talk about people all the time, I'm telling you, it's going to slow down your path. And and, it, and just make sure you're confident moving forward because if you choose the, the road of an individual to, to go in your own lane, you well, you're going to catch a lot of shit for it. But you know what? Stay the course because hopefully at the end of the day or wherever you're going, it'll be much more fruitful when you do it on your own. Mm. Word. Same. Well, what about you? spoken. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to give you a second here to promote. Uh, we got, we got the, uh, the video out right now. We say we have Monopoly Family, John Jiggs, Miles Rockwell Club, a Summer Night at the Symphony, directed by Shaq B. Uh, you know, go, go online, go on YouTube, type in The Good People, Summer Night at the Symphony, check the video out. You know, let us know, good or bad, you know how you're feeling about it. And um, I always say, uh, as a piece of advice to, to new MCs, don't, don't, don't quit your day job and put all your eggs in one basket. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Hell yeah, Word, that's real. Hell yeah, I'm same, going. I'm same, going to work in the morning early. Not for the yeah. <laughs> exactly. Saying we need some instrumentals, man. When the instrumentals dropping from uh from Good for Nothing and you know for this joint, the new joint. That's 
Yeah, maybe you know what? Maybe maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll uh we'll we'll, we'll drop the the acapellas for the EP and then we we'll, we'll do the instrumentals too with it. Yeah, yeah we uh so we I showcase we showcase do. producers every uh every episode, man. So we love to we love to put you out there, man, with your beats and whatnot. Um, oh, you can oh, say, yeah. I mean, yeah. Any, 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 like, anything that you hear from us that you, know, you want the instrumental for, just, like, just, just hit me up. I guess. Uh, not a problem, man. You Word. can just send send us stuff when you when you feel like it, man. We'll always check it out. Word. All right. There All right. it is. Thank you, brothers, man. man we, we appreciate, appreciate y'all. y'all, man, for real, man. Enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you. Uh, I thank hope you. you get- I hope, Dick Tracy, I hope to hear your voice on some interviews somewhere. Man. <laughs> Man, it, it's all Yo, good. It's all good. Dude, you fellas, can, we appreciate y'all. Uh, it's not a problem. And 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 if you want to hear my voice and, and, and some beats from the homie John Doe, <laughs> southernvanguard.bandcamp.com and there eddiemeeks.bandcamp.com and you'll, 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 you'll enjoy that. Enjoy that, fellas. All we right. appreciate y'all, man. One love. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell right. up. Peace, right. y'all. Peace, y'all. All right, the good people. All right, homie. And they the are some people. good people. They are some good people, man. We fuck with them. They drink bourbon. They drink the oh, beer man. I drink. You know, you you just don't run into folk like that, nah, man. You just, you just can't. Yeah, that, that is right. They you hit on the saying? Guinness and hit on the bourbon. Yeah. Like, man, right that's then. Win-win, like literally. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We run into a lot of motherfuckers that drink wine coolers and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> White wine and Moscato and shit. We don't fuck with y'all niggas like that, man. Oh, fuck out of here. <laughs> All right, the good people. Uh, a summer night at the symphony. The single is out now featuring mm-hmm. John Jiggs and the Monopoly family. That's Rockwell's and Mouth. Yeah. We're going to play that on episode 209. So you go back it. and check that. 209. The EP comes out. Uh, it sounds like it's right around the corner, right? Yeah, absolutely. And then if you haven't already, go back and check Good For Nothing, which dropped this past January. Red Alert, Large Pro, Little Fame, Sadat X, Napoleon the Legend. Yeah. Sell- we didn't ask about any of the sessions for any of this shit or nothing, man. That's man. all right, Fuck. man. We had, we had a good time talking Part two, talking maybe, to them. sometime. Yeah, yeah, part two sometime, but well, it, was, it was thorough. Yeah, go support those brothers. Yeah. And uh yeah, you know, this is Southern Vanguard Radio. Twice a week meeks and twice, twice a week, week dope. dope. Southern Vanguard Radio, we out. We out, peace. Peace, y'all. <laughs>